There are different digital currencies in the market, but Cardano is one of the leading currencies in the crypto world. It is also known as Japanese Ethereum. Experts believe it is one of the most undervalued cryptos in the list of top 10 cryptos. This year, the value of the ADA has skyrocketed. Even in the current market volatility, the value of Cardano has been increasing and it has become one of the best-performing cryptos in 2021. High technical competence makes it a game-changer in the crypto world. It can handle thousands of transactions per second, and even the Visa MasterCard cannot handle such volume of transactions as Cardano. Traders can find positive momentum in ADA because it is listed in the Japanese cryptocurrency exchange. It has a promising future because it maintains good connections with governments and large corporations worldwide. Some analysts would have you believe that Cardano is primed for a recovery. The coin price has been on the slide since early September. As of today ADA sits some 58% down from that all-time high on the 2nd of September. Like many of the leading cryptos, Cardano, still the world's sixth largest cryptocurrency by market capitalization, has had a serious downturn in its fortunes since that all-time high of $3.10. Currently at $1.30 it has a market capitalization of $43.56 billion according to data from CoinMarketCap. So are those analysts justified in their optimism? When, if at all, will Cardano return to its old ways and perhaps even new highs? Let's look at the project's recent developments and some of the latest ADA predictions. Cardano spikes to all-time high on smart contract launch. ADA the native cryptocurrency on the Cardano blockchain reached an all-time high of $3.10 on the 2nd of September, up by 26% from its previous all-time high of $2.46 on the 16th of May during the broader cryptocurrency rally. The price jumped as developers' input-output announced on the 1st of September that the Cardano testnet supported smart contract. The launch on the live network followed on the 12th of September, with the implementation of the Alonzo hard fork. IOHK said in a statement, by allowing Plutus scripts to be written and executed on-chain, we'll have the backbone for a new decentralized application platform, enabling numerous dApp and decentralized finance use cases, from simple swap-type apps to decentralized exchanges, and more complex computational programs such as oracles and crypto-backed algorithmic stablecoins. Of ADA's $54.6 billion market capitalization, a total of $32.29 billion has been staked, accounting for 71.99% of the coin's total supply, according to data aggregated by Pool Tool. That could support the ADA price, as only 28.01% of the supply has not been locked. IOHK made several Cardano crypto news announcements during the Cardano summit in late September. On the 26th of September, the COTI platform was announced as the official issuer of JET, a new stablecoin for Cardano. IOHK said, JED operates by maintaining a reserve of base coins, while minting and burning various other stable assets and reserve coins. It is designed to be used for paying transaction fees on the Cardano network. One benefit of this is to make transaction costs more predictable, so avoiding volatile and exorbitant gas fees for users. Cardano also has announced partnerships with land restoration and tree planting verification company Veritree to secure its records on the Cardano blockchain esports and gaming platform rival to develop NFT marketplaces, fintech venture fund UBX for a public Cardano staking pool, and aid, tech to provide technical guidance for its identity-based finance, payments and insurance products. On the 25th of September, IOHK released news of a new Africa-focused Cardano fund that plans to invest $6M in blockchain projects across the continent. On the 28th of September, IOHK said that it has formed a strategic alliance with US-based DISH Network to explore using the Cardano blockchain across the satellite TV and mobile phone network. On the 18th of November, Bitstamp, the Luxembourg-based cryptocurrency exchange said it was listing ADA and trading would be able to start on the 24th of November. On the 23rd of November, the exchange eToro said it was delisting both ADA and TRX in the US explaining enigmatically. These changes are due to business-related considerations in the evolving regulatory environment. Traders can still hold the coins or close their positions, but new traders will not be able to open positions. The statement added that staking rewards will no longer be offered to U.S. users for both assets, with the final reward payout going to users on January 15, 2022. This reward will be paid in U.S. dollars. On the 26th of November it tweeted that there are 2 million native tokens, assets on the Cardano blockchain double the figures in October. On the 1st of December a Cardano subreddit user, Jem Kali, 
posted that Cardano had surpassed the 20 million transaction mark without a single day of downtime and 1,522 days of the blockchain being in operation. On the 8th of December Cardano announced it had passed the milestone of 1 million delegated wallets. Cardano price retreats from highs. ADA could not sustain the price gains as traders took profits, and the price fell back below $2.50 on the 8th of September. The price has continued to decline falling to a one-month low of $1.92 on the 21st of September. While Bitcoin and Ethereum bottomed out on that date and have gone on to strong rallies, the ADA price remains under pressure. The coin has slipped from its position as the third-largest cryptocurrency, falling behind BNB, a native coin of the Binance platform that was banned in the UK earlier this year. Several Bitcoin alternatives such as AMP, Avalanche, Luna, and Sushiswap have shed value over the past month as traders sold some of their positions to invest in the Bitcoin rally. Will they return and will new investors invest in Cardano? The coin moved up to $2.46 on the 25th of September, but then slipped back to $2.02 on the 29th of September. It traded between $2.08 and $2.37 in October, even as Bitcoin and Ether approached their all-time highs of $64,000 and $4,000 respectively. By 9 December the price had dropped to $1.37. What is the outlook for the Cardano future price? Will it rise and reach new highs, or will it remain under pressure? Cardano price prediction. Will ADA rebound in the future? At the time of writing, short-term technical analysis from Coin Codex remains bearish with 15 indicators giving bullish signals and 16 bearish signals. The relative strength index and the moving average convergence divergence were both signaling neutral, while the whole moving average was signaling a buy and the volume-weighted moving average signaled a sell. The weekly moving averages were indicating ADA as a sell. Coin Codex predicted that the coin could trade at $1.35 by the 21st of December. For the longer term, the Cardano forecast from Wallet Investor was more bullish predicting that the average price could kick off 2022 at $1.67, climbing to $3.59 by the end of 2022 and by the end of 2026 hit $10.95. The ADA coin price prediction from Digital Coin projected that the price could average $2.39 in 2022, up from $1.93 in 2021, and climb to an average of $3.86 in 2025. It predicted that by 2028, the coin could average $5.80. Price prediction was more bullish than wallet investor and digital coin, estimating that the token's price could average $5.67 in 2025, up from $1.85 in 2022, and reach $35.30 by 2030. It's important to keep in mind that cryptocurrency markets remain extremely volatile, making it difficult to accurately predict what a coin's price will be in a few hours and even harder to give long-term estimates. As such, analysts can and do get their predictions wrong.